of Taylor, Texas. My name is Sela Finau and I'll be your host this evening. Welcome. And I'm Tiffany Charles. Welcome. And we have two special guests today. I'm Sharika and I'm Opa. And we have Milo is right oh, here. Oh yes, three special <laughs> guests. So today uh, for our Saturday night church, we're going to be talking a little bit about what this weekend uh, what we're celebrating here as a country, Memorial Day. Uh, but before we begin, let's go to God in prayer. Our uh, gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for uh, this special day and this special weekend that we celebrate as a people and as we celebrate as a country uh, to remember those who serve, to remember those uh, who died while serving. Uh, this country. We pray God in their memories and we pray Lord for their families, uh, for their friends, and especially those who served alongside them. We ask you Lord that you continue to bless our country and that you continue to bless all of your people. As for this we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 All right, so now we're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, I continue on and uh, Teresa and, and Opa are going to go ahead and sing a song for us. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning the sun shall rise to thee. Holy, holy, holy. We're talking today about Memorial Day and the and what does Memorial Day mean to us individually? What does it mean to us as a church? And what does it mean to us as a country? So let's begin talking about it. And uh, so girls, can you tell us understand if you know what Memorial Day is all about? No. no. Okay, well, Tiffany, would you like to share with the girls what Memorial Day is? So, Memorial Day is a holiday. There's two holidays uh, in the year that we honor um, our military and those that have served for us. There's Veterans Day. That's where we honor all people who have served or are serving in the military. Um, and then Memorial Day is when we observe and honor those who have given their life for our country. So those that have passed while serving our uh, country. And according to, to what I read uh, about the history of Memorial Day, it started with Decoration Day and then uh, it later got changed to Memorial Day. We don't have a particular passage that we heard today but all throughout scripture though you know there are many different passages that talks about people who lost their lives uh, while in battle uh, we can talk about you know king david uh, beginning with with king saul uh and and then continuing on with uh with king david and and everything that happened with him and happened with his family, that happened with the country, 
um, and, and so on. Uh, so there are many biblical references about countries going into war, uh, that there are always sacrifices and people losing their lives uh, because in one way or another they, they uh, fought for their countries uh, and they lost their lives and there needs to be a way to honor and to remember uh, those those people who sacrificed their lives because it is not only the ones who lost their lives but also the survivors and survivors of not only the families uh, but also the soldiers who served alongside those uh, who lost their lives because I can just uh, you know, try to think and imagine um, what um, devastation uh, that is for uh, someone who went into battle and you lost your friend, you lost your brother or your sister that you served with and you are able to return back home and the grief that you must bear of uh, why you ask so many why questions uh why did my brother or my sister lose their lives and why did i survive uh and, it, and it's a uh, and it continues to be um a real a challenge in, in an issue not just for the military but as a society as well on uh, trying to find ways on how we can help uh, families and uh, soldiers, soldiers who uh, had served or continue to serve, but perhaps maybe um, are impacted greatly that maybe a lot of times they do not know how to function in society, having to bear all of that guilt perhaps, or all of that grief within and uh, it's they become a emotional roller coaster and so in, in a, a lot of mental illness that uh, a lot of people are still trying to deal with and it's a stigma unfortunately that um, that needs to be broken and because everyone needs healing and um, and it's a serious issue that uh, needs everyone's attention uh, on how can we best honor those who lost their lives, but at the same time, also uh, for us as a people and as a country to serve those who have come home, return home, uh, to, to serve them in their individual uh, context whether it's their family and how to reincorporate into society, you know? So, uh, y'all have anything that you wanna add? Or you have any questions? Mm -mm. Do y'all know anybody that has served in the military? Or you have anybody in your family that served? Or is serving? Yeah. One of them is in the Marines. Uh-huh. She was. Wow. Where is he now? Is he? Is he in Alaska? Is he here? Um, I think he's in Japan. Oh, wow. Mata. Yes. And uh, what yes. branch does she serve? Well, I don't have any family members that are currently serving, but I have had some in the past. My grandfather um, served for a while, and he was lucky, one of the lucky ones. He came home, but I know he had comrades that did not come home. Yeah. And um, I know we have many church members that have served in the military as well. And um, we thank them for their service as well. Um, so I think that um, Memorial Day is special to all of us because all of us either have family members or know somebody close to us that has served. Mm -hmm. And um, that service, no matter how long, if they're in the service for a lifetime career or just a few years, it's a sacrifice of part of your life um, because uh, of the effects of what 
can go on during your service. It can affect the whole rest of your life. Um, and uh, it can, you know, cause a change, like we talked about um, soldiers that come back and um, have problems. Um, and I think uh, people are becoming more aware of uh, the things, the, the stigma that has, you know, gone on with the mental illness. Um, but I think we still have a lot to learn and a lot to do and um, more things to recognize and um, be conscious of when um, thinking about that. But we do thank all our, all our uh, service members for their service and uh, we thank God for uh, their gift of protecting us and protecting our country. I remember growing up in the islands in Hawaii, uh, Memorial Day was always a barbecue or a picnic with the family at the park. And you know, as, as a young person, you don't often think about the meaning of a particular holiday except for it's a fun time, a fun day, you get good <laughs> a food. day at, at the beach mm -hmm. with, with food and family. Right, but uh, it is only now, today, that I'm able to reflect back on what does the day really mean, and how is it that we are able to celebrate and enjoy a day with uh, the family at the park uh, and have a good time, and and all of it is contributed to are the members of uh, the military who have served this country affording us the opportunity to be able to enjoy the day and so yeah to remember them and memorialize uh, those who have served uh, this country in a variety of different ways you know so we remember especially those who lost their lives affording us many opportunities uh, that we continue to have today. Yeah, those barbecues and cookouts and fun days at the beach wouldn't necessarily be a reality if people hadn't served and uh -huh. given the ultimate sacrifice. So right. we're very grateful. We just wanted to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, from the crew here at Saturday Night Church, the First United Methodist Church of Taylor. This is uh, a memorial uh, for those who served in the military, but we are also here uh, right in front of Debbie Tucker's uh, memorial bench here at the church playground. And I will show it to you here in a second. Debbie Tucker served the church in a variety of different ways. And so we are thankful and we're grateful for that. Holy Spirit dwelling inside, breath of heaven, be my guide. Holy Spirit dwelling inside, breath of heaven, be my guide. But you will never leave. You always dwell in the chapel of our heart. Holy Spirit dwelling inside. Breath of heaven, be my guide. Holy Spirit dwelling inside. Breath of heaven, be my guide. That's all. So now we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. <laughs> okay. Um, are we ready to pray? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful weekend. We thank you for the recent rain we've received here in Central Texas. You know we need it, Lord, and the farmers are very appreciative. 
Lord, today we especially lift up our uh, servicemen and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice, Lord, and their families. Lord, we know that we would not be a free people in this country without their sacrifice. And we thank you for your gift of them and their service to us. Thank you for allowing them to protect us and keep us safe and keep us free. But we know, Lord, that our real freedom lies with you, our freedom from sin, with the ultimate sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope that you will join us again next time. Until then, God bless. Bye. 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 Bye.